Hello everyone. Say we play some more The Link of the Past. Alright, so last time I got lost and um kinda rambling on. So let's go get the mushroom now. Yeah, it's been quite a while. Um let's see, I think since the last time I did this I graduated. I mean I know I'm graduated, I can't remember the last time I did this. Um and looking for jobs. Probably going to take some part-time stuff uh, and, and start thinking about grad school because that just seems like it's the, the direction it's going. So we go into Lost Woods. We got some birds. I don't know why it's moving. It's kind of disturbing. There's some thieves in here too. Um, you can't kill them. Um, but you can push them back with your sword. With your sword. And um, let's see if I can find one. Just show it up. There we go. You push it back with your sword, but uh, you can't kill them. And if they run into you, they'll scatter some of your uh, expendable items. Like uh, rupees, uh, bombs, arrows, that kind of thing. And um, I guess the game decided that they, they were, uh, you know, thieves, but they weren't bad enough thieves that you should be able to kill them or something. Which is kind of weird if you think about the, uh, you know, these soldiers right here. You know, they're possessed. It's not really their fault, but you kill them. I wonder if, like, after you save the world, the king's still kind of pissed off. And he killed so many of his soldiers. He's hiding in the bushes. He's hiding in the bushes like that. That's some stealth action right there. Snake to learn the thing. I've, I've, I don't know if I've even ever played. I played maybe like a couple minutes of Metal Gear in my life, my friend's house. I watched him play a little bit. I'm not very uh, well associated with that game. Um, I personally don't really like Stealth Island much. Because, I mean, I like I like avoiding enemies, like in Resident Evil and stuff. You know, when you have to run away. Um, although, you know, nowadays in those games, you don't have to run away from anything. But, you know, I like that kind of thing. But just like Stealth, trying to like... Because there's always... The way it's set up, at least in the games that I played, that, that involves uh, stealth. There's only like one way to do it, and it just takes too long. You know, I like uh, my games to be pretty quick paced. They can be like even if they're RPGs. You know, you know, even an RPG can have good pacing. I think. You know, that's why Final Fantasy VI is so good. It just thrusts you right into the action, and there's really not a whole lot. Um, you know, you can grind, but you don't necessarily need to. The only annoying thing about uh, some of the Final Fantasies that are more plot based is you don't always stick with the same party, and you don't always know if you're playing it for the first time when people are going to leave and stuff. So sometimes I appreciate a game where you stick with one party the whole time. That way you can actually like set up and, and plan ahead. You don't have to worry about, you know, in some, in some of them you never see the characters again. All right, let's give the. Uh, she gives you magic power. You got to come back a little later. I don't know the formula for it, but let's go back there. Um, also, I don't really get when games do that. Either. You know. Just, just let me like step off frame and then come back in and have it ready. I mean, my, my gaming experience isn't necessarily improved by you know having to wait a little bit to get an item. But well, whatever. I mean, it's not like Zelda really goes for real, uh, realistic realism. And you're fighting a pig monster, for God's sakes. So let's go to the second. The second book. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're all set up to go to the, um, the desert. Blue guy has taken Okay, so let me check time real quick.
So the Book of Medora allows us to translate um, something that's down here. Um, I haven't seen it yet. I, it's been a long enough time that I don't really remember all that I have, but I'm pretty much trying to figure it out because at this point in the game, there's not a lot to do with that. So. This guy with the sign will, will be seen later. He's going to give us a bottle, actually. So that'll be good. I think there's a fairy in here. Yeah. Only this one part, but uh, I believe it counts. Yeah, different Zelda incarnations have different takes on the fairies. Um, I think... Well, no, this isn't the first game I Because, like, the first one, it only had one type of fairy, really. Um, and the second one, the same thing. I mean, they, they, you know, they had the ones that you pick up and the ones that you, uh, they refill you completely, but they both look the same, if I recall correctly. Um, you know, in this one, and, and I think a link to the past, they start changing it to so the, the refiller fairies. Okay, so let's read this. He makes a little prayer, and, and there we go. Now, you know, I don't know why he doesn't just pray, you know, for, you know, all this to end, for Ganon to just be destroyed, but uh, I'm assuming there's some caveats to the making of Wish. And, or maybe he's just really short-sighted. But um, that's enough for today, or for right now. Um, and we'll continue with this.